All right, the problem states that an individual suffering from high blood cholesterol has 242 milligrams of cholesterol per 100 milliliter of blood. If the total blood volume of the individual is 5.2 liters, how many grams of total blood cholesterol does the individual's body contain? So this is a dimensional analysis problem where we will be starting with 5.2 liters and that will be of total blood of the individual. So we're gonna start with 5.2 liters and we'll say BL for liters of blood and we are going to convert that to grams of total blood cholesterol. So, so many grams of cholesterol, we will abbreviate CH. So, before we start our dimensional analysis, let's see if the problem gives us anything valuable. We do see that 242 milligrams of cholesterol is in 100 milliliters of blood. So 242 milligrams of cholesterol equals 100 milliliters of blood. That may be of use in a little bit. So we're starting with liters of blood. Where can we go from there? So for our first step, we want to get rid of liters of blood. And from what the problem gave us, we can use milliliters of blood. So if we go there we can get rid of liters and we need to know the relationship between milliliters and liters. Well, one liter is 1,000 milliliters. So 1,000 milliliters of blood will go on top and one liter will go on the bottom. So at this point, liters of blood will cancel out and we are at milliliters. So the next step Next conversion factor, we can use, again, what the problem gave us. 242 milligrams of cholesterol per 100 milliliters of blood. So if milliliters of blood is put on the bottom, we can get rid of that and convert to milligrams of cholesterol. And then for 100 milliliters of blood, that's 242 milligrams. Again, we got that from the problem. Now our milliliters of blood cancel out and we're at milligrams of cholesterol. The problem again wants grams. So our last step is going to convert the milligrams of cholesterol to grams of cholesterol. What's the relationship between milligrams and grams? Well, one gram is 1,000 milligrams. So one gram goes on top, 1,000 milligrams is on the bottom, and then milligrams of cholesterol will cancel, and we will be left with exactly what we want, grams of cholesterol. So let's plug this in our calculator now, starting with 5.2. We will multiply by the top of each conversion factor, divide by the bottom. We'll skip one because it won't change anything. So we will multiply by 1,000 then multiply by 242, divide by 100, and divide by 1,000, hit equals, and you should get around 12.584. Let's round that to two significant figures, and we will get 13 grams. So, final answer, how many total grams of blood cholesterol is in this individual's blood? That would be 13 grams. All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.